How's it going, you guys? Today, Mr. Joe Rogan had Steve Coonan's counter-argument, Andrew Dessler, on today. And uh, Andrew Dessler is some sort of climate scientist, and he is more of on the side of climate change is moving a little more rapidly and that we have a huge impact on it. He actually said 100% impact on it. Now, that I think is a little naive to think that we being here for 100 years doing whatever we've been doing is solely driving this warming. But that's just my opinion. But uh, he kind of lost me there. But what they he did agree with Mr. Steve Coonan on was basically all his data and, uh, you know, basically all the science behind on his side, which uh, is pretty surprising. He's, uh, it's almost like they weren't really talking about the same thing because that's what I thought this podcast was going to be. But um, he basically more focused on hey, you know, we got to switch to wind, solar. We have to get move away from fossil fuels, which Steve Kuhn had kind of agreed with, too. You know, he was saying we uh, can't really sustain ourselves on fossil fuels. And it's just, uh, you know, he took a more relaxed approach. Like, hey, we have to do it little by little. We have time. Don't worry about it. The world's not ending. Now, Andrew, like I said, he, uh, he basically said uh, it's going to be a change over decades, which is not exactly opposite of what Steve Kuhn was arguing. So they're kind of in agreement on that. What Andrew brought up, which I thought was pretty interesting. Well, not interesting. We all know. But, uh, you know, he, just, he more talked about the impact on health and people. Like, apparently there's this place in Indiana that's got, like, seven coal plants uh, burning all within 30 miles of this one town that's, like, downwind of all that stuff. And they have terrible air quality, all that stuff. I think everybody can get on that. that uh, that's probably not good for them. That's not good for people to breathe in. <laughs> but um, either way, he uh, towards the end, he brought up, uh, Joe was like, hey, you know, are, are you going to, would you be willing to debate this guy? And he didn't seem too uh, excited at the opportunity of that. He kind of uh, passed it off. He was saying he had a bad experience a couple years ago. And, uh, you know, he didn't seem too down for it. So I don't think we're going to get that from him. But, um you know, I would like to see that debate go on. But then again, you know, everyone has charts and science behind them on their arguments. And how do you know which one to believe? I don't know. I mean, I think there's a lot of things they can agree on. And a lot of good can come from it. I just don't think it's going to happen. At least uh, anytime soon. You know, I'm surprised he got him on, what, like, the next podcast after Steve Coonan. But either way, he, uh, you know... He made his points. Steve Coonan made his points. It's up to you to decide what you think. Let me know down below in the comments what you think, who you thought did a better job arguing their point of view, if you learned anything. And uh, I rated it seven and a half out of ten. Steve Coonan seemed, I mean, uh, Andrew Dessler seemed kind of like a weenie. <laughs> but uh, he did a pretty good job. And uh, like I said, he, they both, I mean... I mean, from what I got from both of them is, hey, we have to make a change in the future, and uh, we got to look into nuclear and uh, plant some damn trees. But uh, that's it for today. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.